run over and left in the street. Now his family is asking for your help tonight. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live on the east side where this accident happened. And Kim, what are witnesses telling you? Glenda, I spoke to the cousin of the man killed, and he says that they wanted to get in shape, so they bought bicycles, decked them out with lights, and started going on midnight bike rides. Then, on Saturday morning, as they rode on this bridge where Mount Elliott and Mound Road meet, there was a terrible accident. This is Kenny Troy McKnight. His mom says the 51-year-old Detroiter loved fishing, barbecuing, and spending time with his parents, his wife, and their seven kids. His mom says Kenny made time with family special. He always, for Mother's Day, Christmas, birthday. Then on Saturday night, he joined his cousin, Brian Hansbro, for a midnight bike ride. Their goal? Getting in shape while having fun. He had the big handlebars on it, all the lights and stuff on it. I had the little handlebars with all the lights and stuff. We had blinking lights. Wheels was lit up. As they rode down the Mound Road Bridge around 1 in the morning, Brian says a speeding car came around the curve. He was flying around the curve. You know, he was flying around that bridge. And you didn't stop. That's the worst thing. You didn't stop. You didn't even get brake lights. You know what I'm saying? A nurse driving by helped Brian give his cousin CPR, but he didn't make it. It's just, it's just, it's just heartbreaking to know that I ain't gonna see my brother again. I, I just, I know accidents happen. Maybe it wasn't that person's fault. I don't know. But my, why did they keep on going? Why didn't you stop? It's if you could help him. Police tell me they spoke to witnesses who say they believe the driver was in a dark or black larger car, possibly a Lincoln. It would have front end damage. The family and police asking anyone who knows anything about the driver responsible that they call police with a tip. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Kim. People should, Jeff.